What's up, everyone? So you may have heard about paper wallets before, but not really know what they do, why use them, and how to set one up. Today, I'm going to share that information with you and show you how to make one in under five minutes for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, so before we get started, let's just go over what a wallet is in the first place. A wallet, conceptually speaking, is just a very simple. It's just two things, a private and public key pair. The public key is what um, everyone sends coins to. It's what you, um, what's on the blockchain, so you can see your own account balance. A private key is your password, pretty much, and allows you to access your coins and to transfer them. This is very important because if anyone ever got access to it, they would get full control over all your coins. And so the whole idea of a paper wallet and other um, offline wallets is that you want to generate this pair of keys um, in an offline manner so that it can't get sent over the internet to like a hacker um, who will have access to your coins in the future. And so the process to do so is actually pretty simple and I'm going to show you how for both Bitcoin and Ethereum but it the process applies to other coins too so just um, follow along and you'll see how to create paper wallets very easily first you have to find some sites um, that do so that help you create wallets um, these private public key pairs and there's a lot out there. Make sure to do your research and make sure they're legitimate. Um, but these are online, though, so how do you use them offline? There are two simple ways and maybe some more that you can find. First is to save as the web page. And some of them let you do this and have its complete functionality. Other ones, like my Ether Wallet, have a, have a GitHub account where they tell you you can go to um, these releases for users and download their website with complete functionality. So let's just show you real quick. I'm going to go offline and still use this. They want you to move your mouse around um, for randomness just so that each person's address is different. And look, just as that public private key pair. Paper wallet, you can print it out, cut it out, make sure to print multiple copies. Maybe you want to laminate it to make it weatherproof um, and aging proof. And then store it in multiple secure places. Some people who are really intense get safety deposit boxes at banks and put these in there. Um, also, my Ether wallet, you can use it offline. Type in the password. Create the new wallet, download the key store file, continue, print paper wallet, and voila, here it is. They open printing for you. Um, so that's pretty much it, a really simple process, but some other security considerations you want to make. Um, obviously, don't let anyone see you create it. Maybe you want to use like a Linux distribution like Ubuntu. A fresh install so that your computer has zero spyware, malware, key loggers, etc. And for those who want super tight security, print your paper wallet from a printer that's not connected to the network at all. And so now that you have these wallets, what can you do with them? Well, you go from, to your exchanges and you send your Bitcoins or Ethereum or other coins to your public key addresses. You can verify that you have those coins there on your paper wallet addresses now by going to Block Explorers. Um, you can just Google Bitcoin Block Explorer or Ethereum Block Explorer and you can type in your public key address and it'll show you your amounts that you have now. How to use them is another story because these are offline wallets so in order to access your funds there you need to take your private key and import it to like an online connected wallet or a little bit more complicated, you can, you can generate transactions offline and send them to the network using like a service or a wallet, for example. 
Um, but pretty much that's it. It's pretty simple, very secure, and also free, if you think about it, compared to like hardware wallets. Um, so if you have any more questions, definitely feel free to leave me a comment below. And please like this video, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next one. Deuces.